Welcome to Learning as we play Age of Wonders 4. And we are in a bit of a standoff with our southern enemy and neighbor. So I'm trying to get something going here on this weird little vassal that just sits between me and my ally. And we'll try and absorb them to improve our situation slightly. We have this enemy outpost sitting there, which they just keep sending their troops to and sitting there. We can't really challenge them at this point. We never see their full strength. And we definitely know that they have better units, higher powered armies than us. So it's not all that much of a sensible idea. We'll put the birds into this army right now so they can help in the siege later. Uh, that's very reasonable. These guys here are a bit of a problem. Because they belong to this. And if they come and join against in this... Uh, we still have a good chance. Like, we're pretty powerful over there uh, as per this calculation. But I don't like it. I also don't like this. I really don't like this. We'll have to pull back an army to deal with it. Uh, so, I, th I think we'll take this army. And then we hope that he doesn't get any ideas because I'm diverting my troops a little bit. Uh, you guys just stand there. That's fine. You guys keep standing there as well. I could have moved the army that he doesn't see anyway. That would have been more sensible, I think. Okay, we can annex something here. Doesn't really matter much because all the cool stuff is under creature siege, basically. So we'll just take something, whatever. Um, poof. Really doesn't matter. Let's go for a conduit. So we get some more mana. Though it looks like we just actually went down in mana. When we just built that. That's a bit odd. Can or should we build something here? I don't know. Doesn't look like it. Like there's something sensible for us to do. Uh, orders required. Oh, right. Oh, right. We we get units now uh, when we build stuff or annex stuff, rather. We'll just put them in this army there. So so they can just stay there. That's fine. Oh, that's also why the mana went down. Because they cost us upkeep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Okay. Got it. Got it. Got it. All figured out. Uh, let's build a wizard tower level one so we get a room of recall. Eventually. So our ruler takes less time to respawn, and they respawn better. Less ouchied, basically. And we'll build the Arcane Institute. We have really not put all that much in our research. Let's check our Imperium, if we can do something cool there. Uh, knowledge for every province in the domain. Eh. Spells can be cast in the first turn of combat. Yeah, that's pretty good. Extra siege project slot and less cost. I, I, yeah, I will take this one, I think. All the other stuff isn't terrible either. But I think siege, siege slot and, and payment for siege would be good. Because I do like me some siege stuff. So we could rebuild these. Uh, and I might actually do it on the conduit, but he's so close, he could just always come back and raid. And we'll see what happens here. Okay, he's just sitting there on our doorstep. Shaky foundations during the Siege of Dominance. His scouts returned with exciting news. Okay. Harrington loses 49. Uh, we'll, we'll do this. Okay. Okay. These are skill challenges, basically. It goes against your affinity, kind of. And this has all the upsides, potentially, uh, with less downsides. So we're not blocking our production. Uh, we have a chance of failing, so we might actually lose a Materium Affinity, which is pretty pretty bad. And uh, the enemy gets 440 fortification health. But 70 to 30, I'll take those chances. We'll just try. We are the frogmen. Oh, no. <laughs> okay, that wasn't good. Uh, it went went the wrong way. Ouch. All right, let's see. Can we take this army on? Barely. 
Let's see what auto combat does for us this time. Okay, we lost a bunch of troops there. Luckily, not our big spider boy. Uh, was it worth it? Nah. Um, uh, who's to say? Is my official stance on that. Who is to say if this was worth it? All right, let's get our armies merged here. You can stay, stay. What are you building there, huh? What are you building? Uh, we'll just stay there too. These are not just looking, just visiting. What does the golem mine do? Plus ten gold per adjacent quarry. How many quarries are there even? Not too many. Ah, uh, not worth it. Nah, we're not gonna build anything here. We will instead build... Oh, well, we could repair the car troop stash. That, that's definitely something we can do. And we have imprisoned this man. Imprisonment is good. Because that takes a hero out of their pool that they can easily uh, gather and have and all that kind of stuff. She keeps dying. I like that. It's a good quality in an enemy. All right, let's finish our move, our turn. Yeah, okay. Uh, the enemy has now moved up against our scout here, but they haven't attacked them yet. Uh, but that doesn't look good for us. Okay, honestly, we know exactly how many troops he has here right now. So we could check. Um, we are up against 3035. And we have 1,700 and 700. So that's not good. We, we don't have the manpower to fight that blob there. Uh, but we definitely can take our good friend away here. So let's see how far can they move. They can move up to us but not attack us. So this is the first. So we move them up into the tree line there. Right. Right there. There's good. They can't do anything for us against us. That's fine. All right, they, they coming. They be coming. We can attack here now, so we shall. And we'll auto battle this out. Lordy, aren't we lucky that this army never arrived here. Never came. Because we were doing half as good as the game predicted we would. Um, we will absorb them. But not turn them to blue-blooded toads. We'll just absorb them as they are. Or we vassalize them. Those are the big options we have. I think we'll absorb them. I think that would be a good idea. So this army might still come and try and do something about this. Uh, so I'm not too happy about that, especially since we keep losing our troops uh, slightly. You guys stay there. You just also kind of stay there in hopes of not dying, honestly. Actually, you might get a stone spirit or a phase beast. Takes us two turns to get that. Uh... Nah, next, next turn we can start summoning a horned god, so we'll do that rather. Masonic Hall has been built, yeah. That's all good and fine. All good and dandy. We need more gold income, we need to replenish our troops, so... Let's start building a knight here, maybe. And you just give us money. That's all. All right, new skill available out here. Okay, yeah, that's that's not bad. All current active units permanently gain plus one, plus one. I mean, these are not terrible, but they're also not really great. All right, we have collected these remains, so we could sell them immediately to uh, give us... Both access to all the stuff he has, which honestly is quite decent. 
I want to actually sell him. Um, we only benefit slightly with a little bit of money income. So we'll sell him. Um, let's see what else we got. Oh, yeah, yeah. They, they got a good bunch of equipment uh, from, from that. He doesn't have anything. So we'll keep him to give us the two mana income. And we will go ahead and start recruiting some more stuff. A knight and an iron golem, I think, is a good starting point here. And we will check that we equip our people with the best and latest. Morale loss is reduced by 50%. That's not, that's not bad. Though I like the 10% melee damage. That's also pretty good. Control loss immunity is... Yeah... Yeah, let's give it to them. I think they deserve the best. And with the torso, we already have the best. Can we give you something like this here? Oh, yeah, that would be good. The Juggernaut Greaves. This unit may crush non-fortified obstacles and we get plus two defense. Bring us up to eight. That's pretty good. We can't have a horse anyway because we got our amazing sword here. Our signature, signature thawed. And we have a mm, ring of protection. Uh, well, they are in the thick of it. So either of these is better than what we have. The wind barrier I kind of like. But the ring of protection is just a little bit clearer. So we'll go with that. A wand of blizzards. Sure, you can have that. So let's now go ahead and free city can be integrated. Lovely, we don't want that. They will remain a free city. And what we want to do is we want to go ahead and check our other heroes like here. And see that they get the Monster Slayer, which is slight... Well, is it better than what we got? I mean, yeah, it's against large targets, it's better. But apart from that, it actually isn't interesting. Uh, but we definitely can give you a Mask of Precision. More accuracy and more everything. Uh, you definitely get something here. Uh, yeah, obscured. So you are harder to hit by ranged. You can... Yeah, don't get that. But you might get a better horsey. Oh, that's... These are all the same, pretty much. Right, you get a white horse just because we got it. Right? Just because we fought for this. Uh, more difficult to hit by ranged attacks. And you can summon a spider. Now let's check our other heroes. That's a little bit of a tedium, really. Sadly. Fiery Wake Boots, yeah. Um, you get... Do we have something cool for you? Not really, no. Nothing there, nothing there. Uh, this here, hero. The Eagle Bow is definitely replaced with the Monster Slayer, for sure. Uh, you get... The Crown. And... The chest plate of vitality. And you get a inspired killer ring. Just because you've got a slot for it. That's fine. Alright. So we are in a situation where they can't just move up to us. Because even if they stand... Oh. Oh. Good thing I checked. They definitely can start a fight like this. This unit can come up and start the fight. I didn't see this. Okay. We need to be careful. So we'll move them... Just ever so slightly back. They can move up to us, but they can't attack. Basically, is what that is. Though, do we take the chance? No. We don't have to take the chance, so we are not going to take the chance. Ah, uh, well. Ah, uh, well. Let's move like this. So they can't attack us. Not on the next turn, anyway. They can just... They can get closer, but... Can't attack us. 
Let's go. Again, they don't see our second army. Only once they come up there. So they think we are weaker than we are. But we know that they are stronger than we think. So it's a bit of a conundrum there. 1,200. Yeah, these are pretty beefy armies that he got there. And again, we don't see everything. I'll have to wait until this turn is over. Having an eye on this army there. They might still make a bit of a trouble for us, but they are not coming. So... Alrighty. Uh, we have researched the god. The horned god, so we will summon us one. They are very expensive, as you can tell. 60 mana and 7 Imperium upkeep. We can have, like, one of those. Uh, before we go bankrupt, basically. Let's check how far they can go now. Okay, they can get closer, but still not attack. So we'll leave our units all slight, uh, slight adjustment. We'll put him there. That's it. And he can stay there. That's fine. All right, bountiful fields have been built, so we'll just go and um, why can't we take this? Why can't I raise this? Well, we'll just occupy it. It doesn't help him. Uh, fair enough. Good enough. Maybe you need a hero to raise. I'm not entirely sure. Feels like it. Yes, start new research. What could be next? What should be next? Summon a nymph. Well, these are pretty good. Uh, and we, we we could use some more healer. Uh, oriented creatures. Let's build another... What could we do? A forest or a farm? Ah, let's build a farm. Oh, big spider. Very good. Uh, big spider... Move up this way. Built an arcane institute. We can build another thing here. And I said foresters, yeah? That's basically what we're building here on, on this end. Forester. And we got another... Oh, got a tiny piggy. Well, I ain't judging the tiny piggy for what it is. Um, let's build the room of recall. Not that I'm... Planning on dying anytime soon, but better to have it and not need it than not have it and need it. Uh, we might do this, honestly, though it's quite costly, and I'd rather build some more units, which we're already doing. Production in Berkshire has been... Uh, let's build a bit of the cheaper stuff here That that's all boosted and things. Not really idea. We don't actually need the food income, but yeah, yeah, you know. Oh, let's build a monolith. Definitely can use the mana. All right, let's see what they do. Let's see what they do. Up here should be done on the next move over. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> They're inching closer. But we're going to play keep away with them. We have no interest in fighting them just now. Nah, 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 nah. Nah, no interest. None whatsoever. Okay, how far can you move? You can move up to here. So we definitely need to use some caution on this end. So here I'll move there. Are we out of range? Yes, we are out of range. And we need to move a little bit past here, basically. Again, we don't see everything. I can't repeat this often enough because that's something that I stumble and fall over often enough still. So we'll move just back there. And just back there. And just back there. Now, let's check our armies real quick if we could 
replace some smaller with some bigger stuff. I think the pike uh, could go. <laughs> or the, uh, the snake can go. Snake can be switched out for this. So we'll just make a little small side army here with our reinforcements that we've been building up. Could have sent them here too, but we're not. Well, thank you for uh, destroying all the stuff that I will have in a moment. Thank you, ally. That's so useful. All right, let's check. Make sure. Double check. Triple check. Nah, I'm. I'm not. I'm not taking that chance. Technically far away enough, but only technically. I'm not trusting my own knowledge of this game. Wait, look at how far they can go. See, I would have been straight in that. So we'll just move slightly further. Look at that sneaky, sneaky stuff. Sneaky stuff. All right, you guys can't do it much, so you just... Honestly, you know what you guys could do? You guys could split and be double annoying. Oh, this one we can destroy. Still don't understand why I can't destroy this. Does that mean I can also destroy this? Okay, we'll just do that. Annoy him while he's up there trying to inch closer. Is he safe? Nah, barely. Now he's safe. Okay, we can summon a nymph, which we're not going to do. Crushing Earth is pretty cool, but... Destructive regrowth. Uh, nah. All your units... Plus 15 temporary hit points. Regain all action points. That's crazy. Become Berserk for two turns. <sighs> we'll go with Crushing Earth instead. Why? Well, it's just a little bit more straightforward. Berserk means that you lose control over units. They just attack. It could work in a small battle. In a big battle, I feel like you would just mainly kill your own units with that. Oh, a rally. Very good. Very good. We want all the fairies. Fairies are amazing. Uh, maybe some halberdiers too. And the furies. Let's get them to the throne city. Just another nice chunky little army out of nowhere, basically. And we might want to consider another hero. Uh, we go over the limit, but we can't afford it. So... Let's check. What could we get? Uh, Vivian Vo. Another ranged one. Let's see what other options do we have. Maybe a caster. I don't think. I don't believe we have a caster really. Not a hero caster anyway. Lightning Evocation, Experienced Leader, Magic Bolts, which we could replace. Magical Caretaker. Oh, yes. Oh, yes, we'll take her. She gets the Horned God. <laughs> uh, she is predestined to get uh, the Magic Army. A fully or almost fully Magic Army. Yeah, sit there. I don't care. I'll take care of you on the next turn. With our hero. Alright. Let's do another turn. Oh. <laughs> okay, they're going underground. Um, that's not great news for these boys here. But if they start laying siege to our friend, I can just fall into their back. So, that could be good. Why did this creature just appear there? Ah, uh, I don't know, but we'll take it. It's a lovely little piggy. 
uh, which we'll definitely want on our side here. So let's bring it in. Uh, can we kill this? No, we definitely cannot. Uh, let's try and bring our boy home. And could you attack? Yes, you could. So we'll just bring him over here to this farm, I think. That's far away from all of them. Yeah, that's okay. Uh, you guys. Okay, so this is a magic origin unit. So you go in there. Uh, our horned god, which we are about to summon, is definitely a magic origin unit. So you go in there. So you're a little bit cheaper for us to have. Uh, let's see, what else do we have, which is magic origin? No. Do we have some... No, the phase aren't. The spiders. I think all of the spiders are magic origin. Is there a way to tell, honestly? Like, I'm just... If it's summoned, then it's a magic origins thing, I think. That's how I understand it. Uh, so we'll just take the spiders here, which are pretty powerful, and throw them in that army. Then we reinforce that army that we just de-enforced and put those guys in there and what else might be magic origin and this troop here nothing really so you get these boys that's fine and you two just merge so that's an army it's not the great army but it's army so these are all pretty okay these are okay, power level-wise. They're okay. Not amazing. But okay. So you don't need orders. You just wait. You just wait. You just wait. 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 Uh, you can go that. Did I just? No, you were just recruited here. You can go this direction because you're going to reinforce our main army. Uh, main army, I say, but our leader army. All right. Let's see another... Awaken the forest is pretty cute. An army of animal and plants. That's actually quite helpful. So we'll do that. It's not a great unit composition. It's not very powerful. But it's something that you can get in a pinch. That'll just be there when you need it. And let's build a bathhouse. They could use a little bit of hope there. A little bit of morale boost. Alright, what do we do with dominance? Uh, first, we give you a... A leader. Oh, we're also no longer over the limit, actually, because we just got that fifth city here. So that's pretty cool. And what do we need out of you? Honestly, you're fairly okay. Oh, actually, before we go back, we might clear the silver pond so we can annex that. Uh, that might be a good idea. So what can we build here? Artisan fortifications. Let's build the battlements because they're cheap. What units can we build? A Dark Knight? A Ballista Warship? We don't need that. But a Dark Knight might be cool. They have Dark Surge. Which is... Yeah. C could, could be helpful. Could be helpful. What do our knights do? Do our knights do something cool? I mean, do you have a cool thing? No, you don't. You're just a knight. Uh, so dark knights are kind of cool there -ish. I cost the same. Yeah, let's build a dark knight. Why not? Now that we can, right? Got some items here. Yeah, yeah. We became the race keeper of the immortal swarmers. Elected as the no keeper. The race keeper's ruler has the biggest presence of race. And, uh, uh, yeah, 40%. Yeah, yeah, we do. To become uh, the race keeper is the only ruler who can play major or minor race transformations. Okay, so we could do the animal kinship to these people too. So they also have the animal kinship. Which, you know, won't be bad. Let's get another horned god summoned for our 
uh, magic unit upkeep uh, lowered cost army because that is fantastic for building something big and strong that we can afford. Oh, what happened there? <laughs> Why did this just turn into grassland? Uh huh. They are doing magics here, I think. So they didn't move. Now that thing moved. Oh no. Okay, we're gonna lose something here. That's that's a shame. Didn't consider that properly. Primal bond. The chairman of the dread spider hatched and cuddled in the arms. The dread are magnificent creatures. All life is sacred. Uh, we embrace this, so we get plus one nature affinity. Uh, cities of this area have minus 20 if there's no friendly animal unit within their domain. We can make we can make that. We can make that a thing. Uh, or we get the dread spider hatchling. Uh, or rather we lose it. Uh, no, let's let's become let's have the mark of the otter on us. And this boy he can just Oh no, it's for the blue spy uh, blue blood whatever the bonks. Um Oh no, these armies merged. That wasn't exactly what I wanted. Uh, it was an accident, but okay. Well, uh, let's build. Let's build a simple animal unit that doesn't cost that much. Six and four upkeep. That's a lot. I'd rather get the nine and four hunter spider upkeep then. That's that's a lot better. Uh, you guys get a pet. If we can build you a pet, uh, no, but we can send you a pet. One of these armies has pets, doesn't it? <laughs> you can have the pigs. Uh, they will they will keep you animal like happy kind of, and you can get the snake as your companion, animal support, uh, emotional support animal, <laughs> basically. Uh, oh, we still have the bird, right? Uh, so the bird can be the emotional support animal of this thing here. And you guys just killed this. I don't, I don't know what they're doing or not doing. So we're just going to keep going. Uh, because these boys are kind of worthless anyway. Like It's not a big loss if they die. So they have been doing a great job so far. Keeping the enemy in line. I don't know what this is. But it is. For now. Alright. And we're working on another horned god there. So that's good. It's all good. All good. All good. Everyone's all good. There's our army. But we're going to wait until our hero is close by. So we can actually do something sensible. Uh, don't care. Yes, our domain is being invaded. I know. And I think that's a turn where we're going to leave it off. Uh, thank you very much for watching. And I hope I see you around next time. Until then, bye-bye. Have a nice day. See ya.